Hi, I'm Daryl from the Modern Workplace Scenarios, and today I'm going to show you how to add your meeting notes to your meeting invite so that when it gets sent out, people will be able to find your meeting notes before the meeting, during the meeting, and after the meeting. We're going to take a look at Nesta, and Nesta signed into Microsoft Teams and is part of the Mark 8 project team, and he wants to organize a meeting for the GoToMarket plan. Um, so Nesta will go to uh, his calendar. Now we're going to schedule the meeting here for 11 o'clock, but we want to first of all create our meeting notes and our meeting agenda. Uh, and this is because uh, as we swap between screens within Microsoft Teams, uh, then we um, lose our place for creating our meeting invite. So we'll first of all go to our team and we are using a meeting notes tab within the team, uh, which goes through to the team OneNote notebook. And this meeting notes section is a part of the part of the project team notebook so it's easy for everyone to find. I've created a section there for go to market meetings and I have copied and pasted the agenda in to the page. Now the key, ping, key principle here is that when you're in your OneNote and you're wanting to send a link to that page, right click on the page that you want to send people to and copy the link to this page. You can do this as, as you can see here within the team. It's the same experience with OneNote Online because essentially that's what OneNote is uh, when it's running within Microsoft Teams. And you can also do the same thing with OneNote on your desktop. So now we have the link to the meeting notes within our, our clipboard. We'll go back to our calendar and we'll schedule that meeting now for next Wednesday. Go through here. Before we um, lose that clipboard there, we'll just paste it in and you can see that it is a hyperlinked uh, title of the page uh, and it gives a direct link through to uh, the OneNote so that if you are using OneNote on your desktop, it will launch the meeting notes within that and you'll also get an option to open it in the web view. We'll give this meeting a title, go to market review and we'll add Isaiah and Adele. Okay, so that's uh, enough to go through. I do like to try and um, copy the agenda in, um, into the meeting invite too. Um, so perhaps we can do that. We'll go to another view of the agenda and we'll copy that into our meeting invite. Great, so we see that. And as we send that out, then Isaiah and Adele are going to get the meeting invite, the link to the meeting notes, um, where they can review, or they can add some of the content and, and discussion points that they might want to have within the meeting. Um, they can start to add some notes there uh, about those discussion points, and uh, then we can access that content afterwards. Now one other thing that we can do, uh, once we have sent that meeting invite, now the meeting exists for Nesta. And within OneNote, there's a great thing that you can do to add some of the meeting details. Let's go into Nesta's view of OneNote. And we can go to the Insert tab. And within the toolbar, we have an option here called Meeting Details. So if we go through to this, for the first time if you're running this, you might uh, have to sign in and confirm that it's your account. Uh, but we'll go through to the date where our meeting has been set. And you can see there's the meeting, so let's add that to the page. And now we have the meeting details. Yes, there's the agenda that we've already uh, got within the meeting invite. We've also got the, the details and also who has been invited. So all good details that we might include within the meeting notes. Now let's look at Isaiah's view of that. If he goes through to uh, Microsoft Teams, then now he can see the uh, meet an invite and he can open that up within Microsoft Teams and respond from there. Um, so we'll RSVP for starters. And uh, because the meeting notes are part of that invite, then Isaiah can open up the meeting notes. Confirm that you are Isaiah. Okay. And we'll go through and maybe start adding some other discussion points as well. Review pitch deck. 
artwork. Great. And now that uh, content that Isaiah has added there as a, another agenda item is going to be available for others who attend the meeting. Of course, while we're in the meeting, we can, we can also uh, start to add notes together. Um, so let's have a look at that experience now. We'll go back to Nesta and we are on uh, the meeting day. Let's go to the meeting and join that meeting. Okay, Nesta's joining and we'll also join from Isaiah too. Now good practice here for Isaiah is that while he's running the meeting, um, he might also bring up the copy of the meeting notes. Um, so let's open that up in the web view because that gives us a better experience. Copy that link. So that gives us a fuller page that we can make use of. And we'll go into the meeting and share our screen. And there's the screen there. And while we're taking notes within the meeting, then uh, as Isaiah is adding things from his experience over here, maybe Isaiah is going to drop in uh, some notes. I think that I can cover the artwork tasks. Right, so that's something that Isaiah is going to uh, take care of. And if we go back to Nesta's view of the meeting and, uh, and his view of his own notebook, then of course he has seen those notes updated at the same time. So we're taking notes collaboratively. And then as we end that meeting, and we uh, end from Isaiah. Okay. So let's say two or three days on, um, Isaiah needs to go back and, and recall the, the notes that were taken during that meeting, then it's very easy for him to do so. Uh, even from within Teams, you can go into the, uh, the meeting and then jump into those meeting notes right there. And see the, the various tasks, notes, and things that were discussed. And it's all part of the meeting invite. Um, similarly, if you were accessing the meeting notes in the calendar from, uh, from Outlook, then Isaiah is going to see those meeting notes easily attached to the meeting invite. The go to market review, and Isaiah is in a different time zone, so the meeting appears to be at 5 pm for him. Um, so we'll open that up and he can open those meeting notes again from the meeting invite. So there's a quick few tips about how to attach those meeting notes um, and the agenda to the meeting invite. So it's nice and easy for everyone who goes to the meeting to find those meeting notes, to start to collaborate on those notes and to easily find them afterwards. If you'd like to find more tips about how to uh, get productive uh, in the modern workplace, then do follow me here at the, my YouTube channel on Modern Workplace Scenarios. Hit subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications for some of my new videos, and we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.